lecture 52 vector integration in that lecture we discuss the volume integral so the volume integration so here any integral which is evaluated over the volume is called the volume integration there are two type of representation if we have a vector function so the triple integration is used for the volume integration and we write the vector f dot dv or if the uh, function is in a scalar quantity so we write the triple integration that dot dv so that is representing the volume integral and here uh, these two forms if we have in vector f dot dv so that function or we say the vector f that is we get the triple integral f1 of these are function of xyz that's an f1 is a component of the vector f f1 f2 f3 are the component of the vector f so we write i f1 dx dy dz j triple integral f2 dx dy dz the vector k triple integration f3 dx dy dz or if we if the function that is what is a scalar quantity so we just write the triple integral pi dot dv so in that way we just evaluate the volume integral here you are using the triple integration to understand the concept by the example if we have a vector f that is 2x square minus 3z i minus 2x y j and 4 minus 4 x k then we have to evaluate the triple integral del dot f dv where v is the bounded region by the plane x equal to 0 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 and the plane 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to 4 so we just uh, first we find that del dot f that is first we have to find del dot f is what is i del upon del x j del upon del y and k del upon del z and the vector f that is 2x square minus 3z i minus 2xyj and minus 4xk now i dot i so we take a derivative with respect to x we get 2 or we say 4x plus j dot j take the derivative with respect to y we get minus 2x and k dot k with respect to z we get 0 so we obtain 2x that is del vector dot f vector now because we have to evaluate the triple integral triple integral del dot f dv so here we take the triple integral that is 2x and in the place of dv dv represents the volume that is dx dy dz now you take the limit of x y z so here as you see uh, as uh, if you remember the concept of uh, the triple integral here the bounded region is what is uh, suppose this is y we take the x and z so x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 means and suppose we have a plane that is plane 2x 2y 2z z plus z is equal to 4 so we have to evaluate in the positive octant right and so in 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 the order of integration if you remember the concept of the triple integration so we take the limit of z in terms of x y the limit of y in terms of x and the limit of x we take the constant or you also change the order of that so the limit of uh, we can say z varies z varies 0 to 4 minus 2x minus 2y now this is the limit of z and when we take the limit of y so we put z is equal to 0 so we can say y is equal to 0 to 2 minus x that is 2 minus x and x varies we put y and z is equal to 0 here so we can say 
x varies 0 to 2. So that's the limit of x, that's the limit of y. Now you just take the integration and you get the value that is 8 by 3. The very simple integration you can easily simplify that integration. Next example if we have a vector a 2x z i x j minus y square k. So we have to value the triple integration a vector dv where v is what is the boundary region by the plane x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal to 2 and y equal to 6 and z varies from x square to z equal to 4. So here simply we have to integrate triple integral vector a dv we write the triple integration that's in vector 2x z i x j y square k and on the place of dv we write dx dy dz now here the limit of x is what 0 to 2 and the limit of y is 0 to 6 and z is varies from what x square to 4 so now we just take the integration here so first we take the integration with respect to z that's the limit of z which is in the terms of x so 0 to 2 0 to 6 and when we take the integration of that vector so we get 2x z square by 2 that is x z i and x z j y square z k we put the limit x square to 4 dy dx so 0 to 2 that is the limit of x and now the limit 0 to 6 we get 0 to we put the limit upper limit that is we write 4x i minus 4x j minus y square 4y square k and minus the lower limit that would be x cube x into x square i minus x square x cube j and minus x square y square k and we write dy dx that whole or now simplify 0 to 2 that is 4x minus x cube 4x minus x cube i and here minus 4 and we get plus 4x plus x cube j and get minus 4y square and that will be plus so we write minus x square y square k vector that's in now dy dx now again we take the differentiation integration with respect to y so 0 to 2 that would be over x minus x cube y i over x plus x cube y j and minus that term we get y cube by 3 so we write 4 by 3 y cube and x square y cube by 3 k and dx we apply the limit is 0 to 2 so here you see the limit is applied on that term so we get 2 0 to 2 that is 2 4 x minus x cube i minus 2 4 x plus x cube j 
and here we get 4 into 8 that is 32 by 3 minus 8 x square by 3 k dx now take the integration with respect to x and substitute the limit that is 0 to 2 and we get we obtain the value that is 128 i 24 j plus 348 k so we get that is the value of that triple integration so here we evaluate that integral in the volume which is bounded by these planes so you have to remember we have to evaluate the value of that in, uh, integral that is an a vector in the particular volume which is bounded by these surfaces so then that example we have given a function phi that's an scalar function and we have to evaluate the triple indication phi dv and here v is what is in volume uh, or we can say the region which is bounded by the these planes and here we have to evaluate that integral phi dv so first we substitute the limits so here because the region is what x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 and that plane 4x plus 2y plus z is equal to 8 so the lower boundary first we write the limit of z z varies 0 to what we can say 8 minus 4x minus 2y and when we uh, write the limit of y we can say y varies 0 to and we put here z is equal to 0 so we get y is equal to 8 minus 4x by 2 that is 4 minus 2x and x varies when put y and z is equal to 0 so on plane we can say 0 to 2 so here these are the limit that's the limit of x that's the limit of y and this is the limit of z and the function phi is what 45 x square y dz dy dx that's an order of integration first we take the integration with respect to z then y and then x so if you take the integration with respect to z uh, this 45 is constant so write 45 integration 0 to 2 0 to 4 minus 2x that's the limit of y and we write x square y here and the integration is z apply the limit 0 to 8 minus 4x minus 2y dy dx now when we put the limit we get the integration 0 to 2 0 to 4 minus 2x x square y 8 minus 4x minus 2y dy dx and the limit is 0 to and when we put the limit 0 we get 0 we get 0 now take the integration first you can multiply the term inside this and then integrate with respect to y then with respect to x so when you take the integration with respect to y first you can simplify or write that term that is 45 0 to 2 0 to 4 minus 2x and you can write x square y 8 minus 4x and x square 2x square y square dy dx now take the integration with respect to y and apply the limit we get 45 integration 0 to 2 and we get the integral value is x square y square by 2 and into 8 minus 4x that's the constant term minus 
2x square y cube by 3 so if you apply the limit 0 to 4 minus 2x dx when you simplify that term you get simply 0 to 2 and we get 1 by 3 x square 4 minus 2x whole cube dx and when you take the integration with respect to x and apply the limit 0 to 2 we get 128 that's the total that's the value of that integral so here what we do we do evaluate that integral integral in the region which is bounded by that surface